Yo guys, what is good? Welcome back to another video. Today guys, we're going to the Ian Center in Toronto. I'm switching up, we're not going to York the other day, but uh, I want to take you guys with me to cop the new heat transferred OG Owl iridescent. So stay tuned, just like the last two videos. We're keeping up with the back-to-back -back weeks. I hope you guys do appreciate it, but it is currently 10 a.m. now. The mall opens at 11, so I am off to a bit of a late start. Anyways, I'm gonna go get dressed, hop in the car, and then head to Ian Center. What should we wear today, guys? I think it's pretty hot out, so I'm probably gonna go with the tee on top. Maybe do a set of pants on the bottom. Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go with the fours on feet, and then I'm gonna have the quick little chill Nike pants on with the Ovio Fest tee from last year. The only reason I decided to bust this one out today is because exactly one year ago today, this was supposed to be Ovio Fest weekend. So you know what? I'm gonna bring out the Fest tee. Just so you know, if you know, you know, it's supposed to be one year ago today, the 10th annual, but unfortunately that couldn't happen. But yo, we're gonna throw this tee on, throw the pants on, the shoes as well, and we'll head to Ian Center. All right, yo, I had to switch up on the fit quickly. Still the Ovio Fest tee on top, but we rock in the olive sweats on the bottom. Air Force Ones on the feet, Ovio Porter bag on, and we about to head to Ian Center. I know a lot of people aren't actually watching from Toronto in my videos, but fun fact, see this street right here? If you get off there in two kilometers, it takes you right to Drake's house. So you know what, maybe in today's video, we might pass by Drake's house on the way back from OVO. All right guys, so we're currently on Young Street. This is like the one, one of the most famous streets in Toronto. That is the Ian Center right there. Our Jordan store is actually right there, but um, we'll be there in around two, three minutes. So I'll catch you guys when we get in. Crazy in person. Look at this. There's no even flash on it. And it's glowing. I'll have to go pick up some shirts as well. Alright guys, so we just left OVO, grabbed the hoodie. So I'm gonna show you guys closer when we get back to the car. Alright guys, so like I just said, we just got back from OVO and we got the bag right here. And I'm not gonna do any sort of video at home. I'm just gonna do the unboxing and review right outside, right here. It's a beautiful day out, so why not? This was $138 before tax. After tax, it was like $155. Not a bad price for the money. Again, I knew it was gonna be somewhere around $135. Uh, we got it in black, size large. So if you guys can see a bit closely, you can already see that sort of reflection out here and we're in the shade right now. Uh, when we move to the side, I'm going to show you guys how it looks there. But uh, let's take it out of the plastic and see how it looks like. Alright, so here's the hoodie out of the plastic. Again, you guys can see that sort of finish right there. Super, super nice. And it is the same weight as the Scully hoodie and the Flower Collection hoodie, which is 360 GSM cotton jersey, 360 GSM. So it is a bit thinner. I don't know if you guys can tell just from this fabric right here, but it is way thinner. So again, if you do have the Scully and you do have the flower hoodie, it is the same sort of weight. Checking the tag right here, it is actually made in Canada, which is great to see. Again, you guys know you're gonna be getting that good quality from this piece. I know a lot of people were concerned about the actual print of the actual OG Owl hoodie on here because it is a true embroidered OG Owl hoodie. But if you get kind of close here, getting close to the hoodie and the actual print, you can see that is actually heat pressed onto the garment itself. So you know that this is gonna stay on there. It's not gonna go peeling off or anything like that. But uh, again, yo, we got the kangaroo pockets right here in the front. Nothing too, too crazy. Nothing on the back as well, but Again, just a solid piece to add to your collection, especially if you've been looking for an OG Owl. Alright, so come with me now and we're going to go take a look what it looks like in the sunlight. Yo, it actually pops in the sunlight. Hold on. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it has sort of like a glitter to it. Can you get that on camera? 
it sort of has like a glitter effect as well which you can't really see in the photos so honestly guys in conclusion i do think this is a great hoodie to have for the summer again if you want the shorts if you want the t-shirt i saw it all in person and the quality really is amazing so do not hesitate on the quality side there to me in person it looked great it felt great and i definitely would recommend picking a piece up again the shorts were 88 dollars not too bad well as the t-shirts being at 48 the standard t-shirt ovo price definitely recommend anything from this collection so here's what it looks like on body again guys i'm like 5'8 5 5'9 5 i got a size large as you can see on the length fits me perfect as well as the torso and the waist fits me nice personally again i do recommend sizing up as well i've mentioned that before usually i'd wear a medium in other pieces but again i'm a large in ovo as you guys can see now with that being said guys this is it for the ovo hoodie i hope you guys did enjoy um, but again like i said we're probably gonna head to drake's house after this and i'm about to go take a picture in this right now for the gram so if you haven't already go like that so i'll see you guys when we get there all right guys, so like I said, I'm gonna stop by Drake's house on the way back to my place. Uh, we're currently like nine minutes away. So I'm gonna pick up the camera when we get there. I'm just gonna cruise by. All right, so we just made it into Drake's neighborhood. As you can see, we got a street right here, Park Lane. You make a right from Post Road onto a street here. And I'll show you guys just a bit down here to the left when we get there. Here is Drake's house, these huge fences, all up, got some cars parked up outside, but a lot of security, and that is it. That's this whole property. Crazy huge, of course it's surrounded in a neighborhood with absolute mansions as you can see there, but um, there's Drizzy's house, just thought I'd show you guys in the vlog that's it i'll see you guys when we get back to my house all right guys made it back home now thank you so so much for tuning in today's video i truly do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me lately um again follow all the links in the description down below uh again thank you so so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace